Using Track Attack with AIM session data is super easy. First, you will still need to use Ray Studio 2 or Ray Studio 3 to download the data from your logger. Once the data is downloaded to your computer, find the folder where the data is sitting. You can find it by right clicking on a session row in Ray Studio 2 Analysis or by scrolling all the way to the right, seeing where the file path is and what the session file name is right here. So once you have the file location, copy and paste that by hitting Control C or right clicking and hitting copy. Open up Track Attack and the following things that we're going to go through will work exactly for the PC and Mac except for one thing and I'll get to that here in a second. I'm assuming that you've already created an account. If not, check out our creating an account on Track Attack video available on YouTube. First, let's tackle those using the older generation loggers. Those that have an AIM Solo, AIM Solo DL, MXL, Micron, and similar. What you want to do is you'll hit, hit the big green button that says Import. Copy and paste the file folder location. Now, for those that are using the older style loggers, for each session that is recorded, multiple session files are created. So you can see here for one session we have six different files. Older loggers will generate only the following ones. A .gp, a .drk, a .gp, and a .gpk, and a few other ones. What we care about for, for those is we want the .drk file, but we also need to make sure that there's a .gpk file. Some of you who may have session files that were shared with you via email or by transferring over a USB stick may be missing that .gpk file. That .gpk file is really important and needed for our process. So if you're importing sessions from some of those older loggers, make sure that you have a .drk and a .gpk file. For those of you that have the newer AIM loggers, such as the MXL2, the Micron 5, the MXS, the MXG, it will generate all of the files that you see here that includes the .gpk and the .drk file. However, they it will also include a .xrk file. Now, for the .xrk files, importing uh, session files that have just a .xrk file, that will work on the PC, and you do not need the corresponding .gpk file, but that .xrk file will not work on the Mac. So if you're working on a Mac, um, you want to make sure that you're importing files using the .drk file itself. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select over here multiple session files. So for the first one, I'm going to select a .drk file, and for the last three, I will select the .xrk. So I'm going to select, I'm going to hold Control on the PC, and it might be Command on a, on, on a Mac, and I'll select the other ones as .xrk files. Go ahead and hit open. Now, for each of the files that are selected, we go through and we recalculate the lap times based off of the track attack track database. For this reason, the lap times that you see here may be slightly different than the lap times that you had in the native software. That's okay, expected, and the differences should be very, very minimal. It's a similar to the differences as to what you get on your AIM data versus if you're running in an actual race weekend, what official timing and scoring has. They should be very, very, very similar, but they might be different. Now, before we hit finish importing run by hitting importing run down here, let's go through and make sure that the, that the details about the sessions are accurate. The very first thing is you want to make sure that the uh, track itself is the correct one. Sometimes tracks have multiple layouts for for one given track. You want to make sure that the fir the right track is selected. If for whatever reason when you import a session and you're not seeing lap times, a lot of times it's because the wrong track or the wrong layout is selected. So go ahead and select the right layout and then you'll see your lap times. The next thing is the driver. By default, we always load the current user as a driver, but you can also go through and select other drivers. Now, these other drivers are, the, are available to you based off of the ones that you're uh, teammates with or the people who have shared data with. Similarly to cars, we, can, we go through and we automatically populate the car value with the car field with the vehicle value in the native data file. 
However, you can also go through and select other cars. Now these cars are the cars that belong to the other drivers that are available to you in the driver field. So teammates and people who you've shared data with in the past. We pull in the notes that um, are available in the native data file, but you can also go through here and add additional notes and that will be saved with it. The last thing is that you can also go through here in, in this window and initiate sharing. So you can start typing in a user handle, a team handle, or even an email address of somebody who is not on track attack at all and, and share it with them. So I'm going to select this one and then hit share. Now you can hit either import run or import all. And if you hit import all, what will happen is if you selected multiple sessions, it will apply these properties to all the sessions that you imported as long as the track is the same. So I'm going to hit import run the first time, and this will basically import just this one run. And then uh, it'll load the next one for you to review the details for this next session. Here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit import all, and it will apply these details to all of the rest of the sessions that are going to be imported. And that's it. You'll notice that if you were connected to the internet, uh, that the application will have kicked off a synchronization process down here at the bottom right. Now, for whatever reason, you're not confident that that has happened, you can go ahead at any point and click, the, uh, click that button and it will kick off into a synchronization process and save all that stuff for you on the cloud. We automatically open at least three of the sessions that uh, that you op that you imported, along with the fastest laps for each one of those sessions. You can come up here to the channels list and select any of the channels that you that are available to you based off of the sensors that you have. Lastly, if if for whatever reason you feel like you made a mistake or you want to change any of the uh, session properties, you can come over here, right click and select edit run, where you can come over here and change the driver, the car, who you're sharing it with, it. you can remove sharings, etc.